Hey guys, this is Sahil from Editing and I've got my hands on the all new Galaxy A50s, which happens to be the successor to the very popular Galaxy A50, a phone that I really liked using. And now with the Galaxy A50s, Samsung's made some tweaks across the board in order to cater to more people. But the question over here is if it's actually worth the 24,999 rupees price tag that the company is asking for. So the Galaxy A50s has a lot in common with its younger sibling, the Galaxy A50. You're getting the same 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display, you're getting the same U-shaped notch, and you're also getting the same 4000 mAh battery. This basically means that the Galaxy A50s, just like the Galaxy A50, offers a great display and long-lasting battery. So no complaints from me in those departments. In fact, Samsung has taken everything that was good about the Galaxy A50 and has made some decent upgrades such as more powerful camera hardware, a better processor and extra onboard storage. Even the design gets a refresh. The all new 3D prism on the back is definitely a head turner and gives the impression that the phone is made out of glass instead of plastic. The rear panel is also super glossy which means a lot of fingerprint smudges but then let's not pretend that it really bothers anyone and if it does then just use the plastic cover that comes inside the box. On the front, you get noticeable bezels around the display and a fairly big chin at the bottom, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because slightly thicker bezels offered me a better grip while gaming and watching content. The A50s also makes sure that all of your basic needs are taken care of as it comes with a headphone jack, a USB-C port and a micro SD card slot in case you need more space. Now the biggest feature that sets the A50s apart from the A50 is optics. This time around the triple camera setup on the back features a 48 megapixel primary snapper, a big upgrade over the A50's 25 megapixel main camera. And I gotta admit, those extra megapixels definitely make a big difference to overall performance. The new night mode produced decent results too, but don't expect Google Pixel 3a or Huawei P30 Pro performance at this price point. There's a 32 megapixel camera on the front and it takes decent selfies even with live focus mode. I was also impressed by the super steady mode, it managed to capture some really stable footage and I'd even go as far as saying that the results were almost on the same level as the Motorola One Action. In terms of device performance, the Galaxy A50s is a perfectly capable phone. The Exynos 9611 octa-core chipset with 6GB of RAM felt snappy enough and handled high graphic games without any issues or lags whatsoever. However, the on-screen fingerprint scanner wasn't the best I've experienced. It unlocked the phone every time without fail, but it's definitely slower than the scanners you get on phones in similar price brackets. As far as the software is concerned, Samsung remains loyal to its One UI, which happens to be one of the better Android skins out there, but now you also get Samsung Pay, which means that you can use this phone to make various purchases at stores that support the platform. Okay, so should you buy this phone or not? Well, let's put it this way. If you already own a Galaxy A50, then I'd say stick with that because that was already a good smartphone. And despite some incremental upgrades on the Galaxy A50s, it's not really worth the jump. But if you've never owned a Galaxy A series smartphone that costs under 25,000 rupees and offers better camera performance than its predecessor, then I'd say that the Galaxy A50s makes for a very attractive option.